how to install a soldered shutoff valve in just two simple steps. Whether you need a basement shutoff for your kitchen, a way to turn off your tub and shower through the access panel, or even a backup shutoff to your main, we got you covered. Here's what you'll need. A pipe cutter, some sandpaper, a deburrer, a pipe brush, wired solder, some flux, a propane hand torch, and a rag. We also recommend getting some gloves and eye protection. And as always, before attempting any plumbing work, you must shut the main valve and drain your lines. Also note that this is a demo in our garage and isn't actually connected to any lines. Now with that out of the way, let's begin with step one, prepping the copper. Although it may seem simple, cutting at the wrong point such as too close to an existing connection makes the work unnecessarily difficult, if not impossible. Make sure to cut the pipe at a point that allows ample room for your valve to fit on either end. To cut the copper pipe, grab your pipe cutter that corresponds with your copper's diameter. Position your cutter where you'd like to make your cut and lock it into place. Rotate the cutter until you get a clean cut as shown in the video. Next, get your sandpaper or emery cloth and clean both copper ends until you get it real smooth and shiny. Now to remove the rough edges created by the cutter, grab your deburrer and apply it in a rotating motion as displayed in the video. This will prevent vibrations caused by flowing water in the future. Now onto our second and last step, soldering the valve. This is arguably the most important step, so pay attention. You're going to want to grab your sweat valve and clean both ends with a wire pipe brush to ensure a smooth connection. Before positioning the copper lines into the valve, make sure to apply flux on the copper ends and inside the valve as shown. Note that applying too little or too much flux can ruin the seal the solder creates, so apply just enough as demonstrated. After the flux is applied, position the shutoff valve into place, ensuring the lines are fully inserted on both ends. Now you're going to use your propane torch. Begin heating up one side of the connection. There is no set amount of time to begin applying solder, which is why we recommend probing the connection with your solder wire. Do this to gauge how hot the copper is. Once the solder wire melts, at direct contact with the connection, you can remove the propane flame and allow the heat from the copper to do the melting itself. You'll know you've done it right when the solder wraps all the way around the connection on its own, just like that. Avoid overheating the flux. If it happens, you have to clean the copper and redo the process all over again. Now you'll want to wait a minute for the solder to cool down and form the seal. That's when you can use your rag to wipe away any remaining residue from the flux. Now repeat the same steps for the other end. And be careful not to undo the soldered connection that you've just created. You might want to use a wet rag and wrap it around the first connection to keep it from unsoldering. All right, and after doing all that, you should end up with something like this. Here's your final product. Despite sweat valves being very reliable when installed correctly, they do require quite a bit of skill and experience. Luckily, there is an alternative that requires no torch and no solder. In fact, it's so easy, you can just slip it into place. Go watch our video on how to install a slip-in valve without the need for any soldering. 